When I was a young man, I lived in a farming community, and at first hand I saw animal slaughter. I saw animals being killed for food. And I think that that was enough to make me a vegetarian in later life. Um, if you only knew what animals had to suffer for the meat to reach your plate, it would be very, very easy to be a vegetarian. Being a vegetarian these days is much easier than it used to be back when I was a, a, a teenager. Practically speaking, it's very much seen as being one of the first steps in spiritual life. Um, you can practice Krishna consciousness without being a vegetarian. You can begin the meditation. Uh, you can begin looking at life through the perspective of Bhagavad Gita. But as soon as you do, you'll start to develop an internal compassion, which is born from a spiritual perspective. And you'll start being a little bit more choosy about what you eat. Um, normally, people give up red meat as a first step in becoming fully vegetarian. Then they may give up chicken and finally fish. But there is a vegetarian alternative for protein. There's a vegetarian alternative for all the eight essential amino acids uh, that we need to have a healthy functioning body and uh, a happy life. Um, now I've been vegetarian for uh, many, many years. Uh, my children are vegetarian and um, I, I have a lot of vegetarian friends and they say that it's it's easy once you start and uh, when I'm meeting different people I always gently recommend them to at least think about becoming a vegetarian it's it's good for your own health and it's good for the future of the world because raising animals for meat for food um, consumes a lot of forest so it's good for compassion, it's good for health, it's good for climate change, it's good for many different reasons to be a vegetarian.